When we got started, it was still dark outside. Sun's out now. We're in downtown New Albany broadcasting live as we get you set for Tallahatchie River Festival. This is the Gallo Radio Show on Super Talk Mississippi. I'm Richard Cross. Thanks for being with us and for Paul this morning. We're going to continue to visit with... Uh, uh, I think Paul would say the movers and shakers uh, here in New Albany as we uh, as we go through the show. Uh, quick reminder: tomorrow, Sports Talk Mississippi will be live at Scruggs Farm, Lawn, and Garden in Saltillo. Uh, they've got great deals and incentives on John Deere products like Gators with zero percent for sixty months and zero percent on compact tractors as well. Plus, more great deals. We'll tell you about those tomorrow afternoon. That is at Scruggs in Saltillo. Also, your chance to win ends today. College football is one of Mississippi's favorite things, and while it's great to watch the game on TV, we bet they'll look even better from the stands. That's why C Spire and Super Talk Mississippi are huddling up for the home team ticket giveaway. Tickets for Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and Southern Miss home games all season long. Free to enter. All you got to do is go to supertalk.fm slash tickets, supertalk.fm slash tickets for your chance to win. Ole Miss the only home game this week. They've got Kentucky on Saturday at Vaughn Hemingway Stadium, so be sure to do that by the end of the day today, supertalk.fm slash tickets. We do appreciate you being with us this morning. We also appreciate uh, Tony Cook stopping by. He is the superintendent of the New Albany Public School System and uh, kind enough to spend a few minutes. Hey, these are office hours for you, so thanks for uh, for slipping out and uh, joining us this morning. How are you? I'm um, great. Great. Good to uh, good to be with you. Lots of good happening in New Albany and a lot of the folks that, that we've talked with this morning, whether it's uh, uh, well, I any of the crew that's been by has spoken so highly of uh, of the public school system here, uh, both the city and the county. Uh, a lot of good things happening. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what's going on with with New Albany schools right now. Uh, it's a phenomenal, the phenomenal school district. Uh, they, they, whatever you want, uh, the schools got it all. Yeah. The, the county schools, the city schools. Uh, it, just about whatever you want is here. Great academics, great extracurriculars, uh, got great athletic programs. Theater department at, at New Albany is probably as good as any in the state. Uh, academics is, is out the roof, you know. Uh, got great teachers, great kids. Uh, some days you feel like you're stealing. Uh, I, I, I can understand that. Tony, to me, the, the thing that gives a school district the opportunity to be great is when the people in the community care. They, they have to care about the schools. They have to um, be supportive of schools and, and want great schools. To me, I think that's the first step. In your role as superintendent, do you co-sign with that idea? And, and it certainly feels like you have that here. Oh, there's no doubt. Uh, it, if you don't have support from the community, it's a tough fight. It, it just really is. But here, these people are, are support you regardless of, of what you want what you need uh this has been this has been an adjustment for me because i've never had this level of support mm. as a superintendent i don't think uh great communities that i worked in in the past but uh, new albany is just different yeah. it's just a different place uh it's got everything that you could want uh it's got this true small town atmosphere but you don't have to go anywhere to do anything yeah. it, it's got uh, uh it's it, Restaurants, it's got everything, but but the biggest thing that I have seen has been the true community support of, of everything, community. I think that schools and a community ought to be a direct reflection of each other, and uh, I see that more here than probably anywhere I've ever been. And, you know, not just support. Uh, I, this is, I guess, a personal example going back to, to when I was in high school. I, I graduated from Oxford High School in 1999. And uh, we played New Albany. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the result of, of that game my senior year. Um, it's a bad memory. Yeah, you remember the losses more than the, the wins, right? You, 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 you were the coaching you business for a long you time. Did. That was one that was there for the taking, and uh, it might have been my fault that it didn't happen uh, at the very end. Um, but but there is a, there's a passion and there's a pride and also an expectation of success for New Albany athletics. Yes, sir. Uh, there's an expectation of success for everything you Albany. Yeah. And and that's a great thing. Uh, uh, if you don't have high expectations, then then, then you, you can shoot low and hit it. It's pretty easy. Uh, but here everything is expected to be done well. 
and we do have great great athletics uh, our football team's undefeated right now and got a big game tonight or friday night against pontotoc and a little bit of a rivalry the game oh, there right big rivalry game i worked at, at pontotoc for a while too got another great community but uh yeah that'll be a, a, a big one for us tony what's um What's the, the biggest challenge, or what are the biggest challenges that, that you're facing as a district right now? My biggest challenge is I, I probably feel a little bit like Kalen DeBoer over at Alabama. You know, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're following the GOAT. Uh, as, as a school district, probably our, our largest challenge is uh, students are changing. Uh, students have changed. Um, and, and we're always making the adjustment to try to make sure that we give every student what they need. Yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, uh, students are changing. They're, they're more exposed to uh, things that you and I weren't exposed to growing up. And, and so we've had to make an adjustment in, in education to meet the, the, not just instructional and academic needs and the uh, extracurricular needs but also the social emotional needs of of the kids that are coming through and and that that may be our Lord challenge right now yeah. that, that may be you know we were talking with with sam creekmore a little while ago about some of the mental health issues mm -hmm. that uh, that students are facing and you know the pressures they feel that that maybe we didn't feel when right. when we were growing up that that we were dealing with and you know i think in some ways it it's we're talking about those things more than we ever have, but also for those of us who did not grow up with some of the pressures that students are dealing with or, or some of the avenues to communicate through social media and uh, the things that have made the world a smaller place have maybe have made it a harder place as well. It's kind of easy for us to maybe sometimes brush that off a little bit. Like, ah, just, yeah, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, let's go. Uh, how do you balance those two things to, to make sure that you are giving the students the resources they need, that they're getting the attention that they need, that they're not getting just lost in the shuffle? I'm a very old school person. Uh, so uh, that is a struggle for me. Uh, but I, I think that we have to offer as many different opportunities as yep. we can uh, instructionally, academically extracurricularly and try to get students involved in as much as we can the, the more a, a, a student is involved in school the better chance you have to reach them yeah uh, the, the most uh, are the students who have the most issues are those who are not involved in anything other than just coming to school they go to school they do the work they punch the clock and then they go home yes sir. or yes, wherever sir. those are the ones who who concern who who concern you the most yeah yes sir and that's uh, that's an interesting way to uh, look at it. Tony Cook, superintendent, New Albany School District here. Um, remind me of what the the campus setup is in, in terms. So so K through 12. How is it broken up in terms of the actual schools? Well, we have a pre K through five elementary school, uh, huge school, about 1,100 kids in it. Wow. Uh, yeah, a large school, a lot going on over there. Uh, we have six through eight middle school, nine through 12 high school, CTE center uh, currently at the high school but uh about to start building on a new one out at the central office location and then we have uh our alternative alternative school which is split between uh union new albany and south temple schools so, okay yeah um in a in a county where there are multiple school districts um rivalries exist but there's also got to be a, a somewhat a spirit of cooperation as well right yes sir uh, miss wendy faulkner is is a superintendent union county and i've known her for a long time and uh, she is very cooperative and, and just hey tony what do you want to do and, yeah. and she's been great she's been great that's fantastic yep. um what what's next uh you know when when you are in a leadership position you, you've got to run the day-to-day, -day, mm -hmm. and you've got to make sure that people have what they need. But you've also got to try to look to the future and make sure you're planning for what's next. So in terms of the New Albany School District, what, what's on the horizon? What are you looking toward? Well, we want to be a perennially, uh, perennial top five school district. Okay. Uh, that's, that's our goal right now academically. And uh, uh, 
Uh, I've told Cody, Cody Stubblefield, hey, we want a uh, state championship soon. And, <laughs> and, you know, baseball. No pressure, no, but. No, no pressure, but, you know, baseball is, is really, really good. We've, we've got a great soccer program, uh, tennis, all of those different things are, are rolling. Uh, but uh, we, we've got the CTE center that we're building. It's, it's the center of innovation is, is what it's been called. And it's about a it's about a $7.8 million project. And that is a combination with us and the county and uh, will be something to really see and benefit our kids and our community. Excited for you and all the good things that are happening at uh, New Albany Schools. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, thank you, Mr. Krause. I'll listen to you this afternoon. I appreciate that very much. We'll get back to it uh, this afternoon on Sports Talk Mississippi. Tony Cook, superintendent with the New Albany School District. The New Albany Bulldogs playing Pontotoc rivalry game coming up on Friday night on the football field. Quick timeout. We are back with you after this sports. Uh, no, I did it. It's the first time I've done it all week long. It's the Gallo Radio Show on Super Talk Mississippi. We're back right after this. <laughs> 